Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jeff at Lockdown Security, www.lockdownsecurity.ca. And today I am bringing you a video that I'm actually quite excited to make. It is on the new Kenwood DNR 1008 RVS. Now, I say new, this model has been out for, I uh, believe about nine to 10 months now, but I've just now had a customer uh, want to purchase one of these and I've got one in stock. So I decided to take it out of the box and make a video. Now, you will say, well, how come it's not that popular and how many people are buying it? It's because it is one of the most expensive receivers out there, but honestly, it is one of the best. For a specific purpose, it is the only radio that you should be buying. And I'm gonna show you in this video what that specific purpose is. So, this is part of Kenwood lineup. So it's not a Kenwood Exelon, it's in the Kenwood model lineup and it is one of their large screen receivers, 10.1 inch. If you know Kenwood's large screen receivers, you will recognize the volume dial. This has got the same chassis, same screen as the DMX 1037, as well as the DMX 1057 XR, which is from Kenwood Exelon. And then you've got the uh, DNR 1008, the Kenwood Exelon navigation unit. So this particular unit, has built-in Garmin navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and it's got something very unique on the Garmin side. Let me show you what that is, and this is why if you drive a truck or an RV, then this is the only radio that you should be buying because it comes preloaded with Garmin truck slash RV maps. So it also has car maps on it, but it has Garmin truck and Garmin RV maps. Why is that important? Well, if you drive a truck or an RV, you will know that they are quite tall and there are a lot of roads that you're not permitted to drive a truck or an RV on due to vehicle weight or due to low bridges. Well, Garmin Truck Maps gives you a heads up of those low bridges as well as those routes where you're not permitted to drive. So I'm just gonna select Truck and hit Save. Uh, an active vehicle profile is required to operate in the selected mode. Configure your vehicle profile now. This is because you have to tell it what the size and dimensions of your vehicle is. So again, I don't have a vehicle this is going into, so I'm gonna leave all of this blank, but you can see when you first set it up, you've gotta go through basically all of these parameters. Now I have an Apple iPhone connected to it. So here you go, I've got Apple CarPlay, which is the typical uh, menu system. You can see here, it's got Apple Maps, it's got Spotify, it's got all of your settings and all of that. Now, the person's phone who I have connected, you can see where they live and you can see that they like to listen to Spanish music. So I'm just gonna exit out of that and I'm gonna show you the home screen. Now this home screen is completely configurable. There are different widgets. So you can see you've got a compass widget, you've even got a camera widget and a vehicle safety widget. So if I were to install this into a vehicle using an iDatalink Maestro interface or a specifically the Maestro RR or the Maestro RR2, I could integrate things like rear view camera. I could integrate things like parking sensors, both in the front and the rear, and it would essentially show up in this widget. So as we can see, there's a call coming through right now on the iPhone, and I'm gonna go back to this widget. I do not have a camera connected to it, but one of the cameras that this is compatible with is the Kenwood CMOS CMOS 740 HD. That's the specialized high def camera that Kenwood makes. It is applicable and compatible to work with the DNR 1008 RV. Yes, uh, there are a few other things that you can do. Obviously, you can go into settings, you can change all your Bluetooth options, you can go into audio, and you can see it's got a very in depth EQ. It's obviously got balance and fader, subwoofer pre out. You've got essentially your uh, digital time alignment, you've got volume offset, sound effect, audio memory. So, there's a lot of audio configuration that you can do. Uh, let's go over here to the main menu. Wireless mirroring, AM, FM radio, it's Sirius XM compatible. It's got an SD card input, so you can put a home splash screen. It's got an HDMI input, audio visual in. It's got basically accessory control. These would be, if you were using specifically the accessory control, that would be uh, highlighted if you had an MRR2. So I don't have a demonstration video, but essentially if you used an iDatalink Maestro RR2, you could literally control things like fog lights, hitches, pretty much anything electrical in your vehicle, you could use this touchscreen as an on off switch. If I swipe over here, you will see a few other things. You've got basically media player, Bluetooth streaming, radar detector, gauges, climate, parking assist. These features right here, radar detector, gauges, climate, parking assist, you must have an iDatalink Maestro in order to activate those. 
Uh, you've also got Android Auto. We don't have an Android phone connected to it, so that won't work. And then we go back here and you will see essentially you've got your music playing through CarPlay here. You've got uh, your widget here, which again, you can change. We could have an EQ. So if we had uh, music playing, you would see basically the graphic EQ there. You also have your subwoofer preet. So for example, you could consider this a bass knob. So rather than having to install a bass knob, you've got one basically directly on the screen. And my favorite option is this guy. <coughs> the volume knob. This is by far the best feature of this radio out of all those cool features I just showed you. The reason being, it's so much easier to turn your volume up and down and much, much more accurate as well. Uh, let's go through here. You've got your music splash screen and then obviously your background. So this is configurable. Let's hit the question mark. So essentially favorite images in your phone can be shown by installing Kenwood portal app. So instead of using the SD card, you could download the images through your phone and essentially have, you know, whatever pictures you want. Many people put a logo of their vehicle or a picture of their car. You can put whatever you want on the splash screen. You've got your hard buttons down here. So essentially a hard button to go back home. I'm just going to close that. So I'm already home, so it won't go back. I can hit nav. Essentially I have to set it up so it's not working. I've got the custom button, which takes you to your current source. And then you've got your voice control, which essentially in this case, because it's Apple CarPlay, would be Siri. I don't have a microphone hooked up, so none of that will work. I also don't have any audio hooked up, so you can't hear the audio output. Uh, I've done previous videos. I've shown what's on the back of these radios. Essentially, you've got front, rear, sub, pre-out. You've got, I uh, believe it is four by 50 or 55 watt amplifier built into this for your interior mids and highs. You've got your HDMI input, you've got your antenna input, and then you've got all your video inputs as well. Uh, it comes with quite a few accessories. They're all kind of messy on my bench here. You got your user guide, you got your GPS antenna, you got your Bluetooth microphone, and then USB extension cable there. Uh, this is the box and Obviously, this is the radio. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, the Kenwood DNR 1008 RVS. If you drive an RV or a heavy-duty truck like an 18-wheeler or a dump truck or any heavy-duty truck, this is the radio for you because it comes equipped with Garmin truck maps, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you could, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It goes a long way in the future for us to make more videos like this. And if you need to reach us, www.lockdownsecurity.ca, 1-866-824-4118 is our toll-free number and sales at lockdownsecurity.ca is our email. Thank you for watching.